Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are going to be looking at Joe Biden's potential routes to get into the 270 mark and winning the presidential election. So first things first is the standard filling out of the safe states. Um, I might start doing this before the video because it's kind of repetitive but that's fine. Main the second district and I think that's it for the Democrats. All these states. Um, I think that's all of them, to my knowledge, yes. So, there are some states I do not think Joe Biden has a chance of picking up, and that is Iowa and Ohio. I do think they will be going to Trump by a pretty steady margin. Um, but on the, on the contrary, there's also Colorado, New Mexico, Nevada, uh, Minnesota, and Virginia, who, which I think will all go to Joe Biden. Now, there are, luckily for Biden, there are multiple routes to getting a victory. Uh, and there are multiple demographics he can target for that. So, for example, uh, the... I wouldn't say easiest, but the least amount of states won would just be Texas. I don't think he has a chance of winning Texas in the 2020 election, even if he spent his entire time there, because it is trending to the left steadily, but I think in 2028 or 2032, I think Texas will be in play then. Obviously, it does get them over the 270 mark, and I do think once Texas does flip to the left, once it does go blue for the first time, which it will do, it, eventually it will go blue, there it will be big trouble for the uh, Republican Party because all the key swing states doesn't even matter, all of these can go red and it wouldn't matter because they've got Texas. They could win all of these states, but because Texas went blue, it would spark a lot of trouble for the Republican Party. Um, and they definitely need a candidate who can appeal to the Texan voters more or need, need to appeal to minorities more to try and s persuade those voters away from the uh, away from the Democrats um, and if it goes blue and it keeps going blue in the later elections then it goes there if it gets to the likely column for Democrats uh, we, that we will have I say we America will have a streak of Democrat presidents for a long time because when this mo when this moment happens as long as they hold on to everything else the Republicans don't stand a chance um, but I that it's very unlikely I don't think it it will happen in this election this is the most unlikely one to happen out of the different options I have set up so I do think this is unlikely but in the future when Texas does go blue it will be very interesting to see. Uh, another option is almost like a sunbelt option is if he, he targeted Arizona and Florida. Uh, Arizona I think he will get anyway by a lean margin. It's trending to the left and I've explained this in other videos but it has a uh, a Democrat senator, it has five out of the nine districts are Democrat and I do think it will go to Joe Biden anyway. Florida will be a close one. It will be very close um, in the election. It will either, because Trump is losing support with the elderly voters but it is very probable that he holds on to it either way. But this is sort of the Sunbelt strategy I guess and again with these two states because all the other states for the Dems are basically locked in. Minnesota, Colorado, New Mexico, Nevada and Virginia and New Hampshire are not going to Donald Trump in this election. And it just goes to show that Dems only need to pick up two states and they've won. Or one state with Texas but that's not going to happen. Um, two states and they've literally won the election. So it's very interesting to see to be honest um, how the Republican base of winning elections is slowly being stripped away as states like Georgia become more competitive, 
Texas becomes more competitive, North Carolina becomes more competitive. The, the like foundational Republican, like getting to 270, is slowly being stripped away. Um, and it goes to show, especially with uh, if we go back to Texas for a second, if Texas does go blue, uh, not not in this election, but in the future election, it doesn't matter if the Rust Belt is trending to the right because he can pick up the Rust Belt, and the Dems still win. And I think on the uh, Yaps 2024 map, Texas goes up by three points, 41 points, and all these states, I'm pretty sure, go down by a point. So it doesn't matter even more so then. Uh, sorry, a small cut there, my screen recorder cut out, but we're talking about Texas and how it doesn't matter that the Rust Belt are losing uh, popular, uh, are may go down in points because it will benefit the Dems in the end as they are trending more blue in the Sun Belt area. So even if the Rust Belt does go to the right this election in 2020, it won't matter because in future actions, let's actually get it up here. Uh, Yaps. Um, uh, where is it? Other 2024. Here, look, Texas, 41 points. Wisconsin, 10. That stays right. Yeah. But Michigan, 15. Pennsylvania, 19. Ohio, 17. They're all going down. Illinois, down. And these areas down here are trending to the left. And especially with that te with Texas getting 41 electoral points. It will be crucial for te uh, the the Republicans and the Dems in the future elections, and it will be the deciding state in a lot of elections to come. Um, but yeah, m uh, moving on from Texas, it's just a very interesting state. It will be very crucial in the future elections, so I felt like it was important to spend quite a few minutes on discussing that state. Um, the next option is to just go Arizona and two of the Rust Belt states. These two, I think he, Biden has a bigger chance of winning. This is very probable of happening in the actual election as well. Again, I've spoken about Arizona a lot of times. It's trending left. Michigan, Pennsylvania typically are um, uh, Democrat states and very well could vote in favor, probably by tilt margins. Um, but this this is very probable. This is another route for Joe Biden. It definitely could occur. Um, probably the most plausible one, I reckon, is this this route for him. Maybe picking up Wisconsin as well, and if he's lucky, Florida. But I doubt it. Um, but yeah, this is probably the most probable route, and this is the route I'd probably recommend for him. Uh, but I do think that he will definitely need to focus down a lot of these two states. Arizona, I think he's got locked down pretty much in this election. Uh, just like Trump, I reckon, has Georgia locked down and North Carolina locked down. Uh, by slim margins, but they still locked down nonetheless. Um, it's just going to be interesting to see if these states are trending to the right, and if they are, does it matter because of the uh, decrease in points. Uh, I don't know if this is finalized, if this is what's going to happen, but this is what could happen. I'm not actually sure about that. But if we just look at this quick, just fill out, I'm just going to say all of Nebraska goes because saving time. West Virginia, South Carolina, and these ones. Like Colorado gained a point, which is crucial because it's becoming more and more democratic. Arizona gained a point. And that is also crucial because it's again becoming more and more democratic. Um, safe. safe. Uh, there you go. Right, and Virginia stayed the same. Minnesota, I think, lost a point. So again, here, Texas, if it goes blue, doesn't even matter because even if the Rust Belt is trending to the right of the country it may not matter in future elections even in 2024 in fact because of this the fact that Texas has gained the fact that Arizona has gained Colorado has gained California has stayed the same which is quite surprising Florida has gained and that's always going to be in play 
for Dems or for the Republicans, and it's just it's just very interesting to look at. I I feel um, how the future electoral map is definitely favouring the Democrats, who are appealing to the Sun Belt more and more, and that's where the populace is moving, and it's just it's just so interesting to look at that. So. Anyway, moving on from my little rant about that, uh, the final route I can think of him actually being able to pull off is potentially North Carolina and Florida, equally North Carolina and two states of the Rust Belt. I do. I could see this happening. North Carolina is a tough one to pick up. It would be very tough. I could see Biden picking up Florida more than he would pick up North Carolina. But it would be, again, very interesting to see that state. It did go for Obama, I think, in 2008. I'm not sure about 2012. But it will definitely be very interesting. And it was another state to look out at. And it's just, I guess you could say, unfortunate for the Republicans. Because their basis down here in the South is being fractured. Because Georgia is technically in play, North Carolina is in play, Florida is in play, but that was never really secure for them. Texas is in play, Arizona is in play. They're all trending to the left. And as I've said many times, I'll keep repeating this, it doesn't matter if the Rust Belt is trending to the right. Because the areas that are could potentially gain points in the south are trending to the left. And that's what's crucial. The Sun Belt area is definitely going to be important. And the Republicans will need to nominate someone who appeals to people in the Sun Belt area and uh, to, to even have a chance at winning an election because they could even like even if like Minnesota trended right or something it still wouldn't matter because of Texas like even Florida Texas just brings it home like it just it will be very interesting to see how the Republican candidate changes and who put steps forward for their candidacy after this especially with if it is this map i don't know for sure it could be i don't know that uh, i'd have to look into it but it'd be very interesting very very interesting um but yeah that's the end of this video the there's the few routes for joe biden to go down probably the one i'd recommend for him is i think i said arizona michigan and pennsylvania i think this is the most plausible route whether he picks up more states with that I don't think he'll pick up Texas or Georgia or North Carolina How about lean but whether he picks up Wisconsin as well I don't know I, I do feel like Trump could pick up Wisconsin in this scenario uh, I think Florida will go tilt um, but again it just wouldn't matter because he's got the Rust Belt in Arizona but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And check out my other video I uploaded today on Obama versus Donald Trump. We're seeing if we can actually beat Obama in Political Machine 2020. As he does seem very powerful. Um, but please check that out. Uh, I don't think... My next, my next video will probably be a Hearts of Iron video. So keep an eye out for that. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe, share this with your mates, uh, get them to subscribe and watch my videos as well. So take care, and goodbye.